Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. There is a ton of great content on this channel I know you'll enjoy. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the North Face Dolomite Synthetic 40 Degree Bag. Let's go! All right, so this is the North Face Dolomite 40 degree synthetic sleeping bag. I've been very happy with this sleeping bag so far. I picked it up about six weeks ago when I saw it on sale and really it's performed really well for me across a couple of trips where we've had some colder temperatures. Now, I did pick up this bag primarily for that fringe season camping. So late spring, early fall, where those temperatures are gonna dip down into about the mid 40s, high 50s, that's where this bag is gonna perform the best. So let's roll this thing out and we'll go through the specs. So this is the Dolomite sleeping bag. You notice it's got a really big stuff sack and you can really kind of push this down and compress this sleeping bag. The stuff, the stuff sack is actually way too big. So I'll show you guys the solution I have for that later in the video. Just kind of showing you what it looks like when you get it brand new out of the package. So probably one of the first things that you're actually noticing about this sleeping bag is that it's not a mummy bag. And that was purchased intentionally. I don't really like mummy bags. Uh, I like them for cold temperatures because they are the design that's going to help to keep you warm and keep you insulated, but I don't want to deal with the hood and I don't like that constricted feeling that those mummy bags give me. If I can avoid that in some of the more temper temperatures, I'm going to go for a rectangular square bag every single time and I'll just wear a toque or something to bed if I need some extra insulation because I, I really just don't like sleeping in mummy bags. Really nice material. It's got a 50D polyester on the exterior and the interior of the bag is also a 50D polyester and it's a nice material. It feels nice against your skin. It has two openings at the top of the bag, which is nice if you want to keep your arms on the outside of the bag or if you want to kind of vent at the top of the bag. I like this zipper. We have just kind of a little baby quarter zipper at the top here and this allows you to kind of open up and vent at the top. And then on the right side, because this is a right-handed zipper bag, it has the same Velcro and then a nice operating zipper that runs the whole length of the bag. The inside of the bag is this really nice orange color. And I know this is really bright and really loud, but when I'm in my hammock or when I'm in my tent, if I have my phone or my headlamp or some other things in here, if I drop them inside my sleeping bag, it gives a really high contrast material so that I can find things easily in those low light conditions. So I think that was a really thoughtful design in terms of the color choice for the liner. It also has this nifty little phone pocket right here that you can slide your phone into. And when you're sleeping, it just kind of rests right up here on your chest. So that way you can keep your phone uh, right safe with you in the bag. Now the insulation in the sleeping bag is synthetic so it's going to weigh a little bit more than a down sleeping bag of the same temperature rating but the nice thing about having a synthetic sleeping bag option is that if you're going into any kind of damp conditions where you're worried that this bag might encounter moisture a synthetic bag is still going to keep you warm when it gets wet versus a down sleeping bag that loses all its thermal insulation properties when it encounters moisture. Now this sleeping bag does allow some ventilation. So it has a double zipper. So if you wanted to keep your upper body all nice and zipped up and warm and vent at the bottom to prevent sweating, prevent condensation, you have the option to vent the feet if you so choose. All right, so let's crawl into this sleeping bag. There are two different size options with the Dolomite 40 degree bag. One is a long bag option, which is 77 inches long. And this is the regular one, which is 66 inches long. 
so it's perfect for me because I'm short. I'm only five foot two. Get inside of here, and there is a lot of room. You can see my feet are not even near the end of the bag. I've got tons of room. One of the reasons that I really like the square design is because I want to flip around in the middle of the night, sleep on the stomach. I can kind of kick up that left leg, and I can sleep like this. If I want to sleep in a sideline position. I could sleep in a sideline position, it's super comfy. If I want to sleep on my back, ah, no problems. I can really kind of stretch out in this bag. It's not in a mummy bag where you're you're kind of, oh, oh, you know. This bag just gives you that freedom to move around and roll around. And I'm really happy with the rectangular design. And I'm really happy, I'm really happy with, with how well this bag works in terms of insulating with a rectangular design with the temperatures it's been rated for. I've used this bag on quite a few trips lately and it's been nothing but absolutely wonderful. I haven't got cold a single time that I've used it and I have actually used this bag down to 42 degrees and I was warm and toasty. I had under layers on. I had a thin little insulating jacket and I had on a toque and of course I had on some wool socks but that's all I was wearing I wasn't using a sleeping bag liner or anything so I was really warm at, at 42 degrees in this bag I was sleeping in a hammock and I did use an under quilt that was rated to about 15 degrees as my under quilt so that kind of helped to keep me warm but I used this more as like a top quilt in the hammock at 42 degrees and I was really toasty so I was happy with that I've used it with my Nemo Tensor 25 which is rated to 15 degrees and I have been very warm with that in temperatures in the mid to upper 40s so this bag is, is really good in terms of saying that you know its limit is 40 degrees it really speaks true to that so I'm, I'm really impressed with it for that fact so when it comes to pack up time this is the stuff sack that originally came with the dolomite bag and you can see it's really easy to get back in there so you may choose to use this stuff sack depending on how you're going to use this sleeping bag if you're using a sleeping bag for car camping then you can use this stuff sack it makes pack up in the morning super easy you just cram it in there and throw it in the back of the car and you're good to go you can see the stuff sack is really big and it doesn't do a great job of providing compression to the bag i've used this sleeping bag for backpacking a couple of times and what i like to do is i just forget about this compression sack all together and I'll do one of two things depending on what gear I'm bringing with me. Sometimes I'll just stuff it right into the bottom of my pack and this way I can kind of pack things around it or I'll use this other stuff sack here. This is a 10 liter dry bag. And this way you can get a nice good amount of compression on the sleeping bag. This is kind of a long and a skinny one. Let me just push this down here. That way you can use it to push it here. Really get all that air out of it. And you can just clip or close that way and this way it's going to take up a lot less room for storage it's going to take a lot less room in your pack it's going to keep everything compressed together so i think it's great to use just an additional stuff bag one of the things that you might want to consider with this bag is applying some dwr to the exterior of the nylon shell I looked online on the manufacturer's website and I wasn't able to see any specifications indicating that the DWR has been applied. So 
you may want to consider getting one of those just quick aerosol can sprays and giving this a quick treatment of DWR just so that way you're going to have a bag that's going to be a little bit more resistant in some damp conditions. That would be my recommendation if you're going to use this bag. The weight on the North Face Dolomite 40 degree synthetic sleeping bag comes in at two pounds and eight ounces. Now the insulation on the interior of this bag is made up of a heat seeking polyester material, super, super warm, and it's performed really, really well. Let's talk about the comfort limit on the Dolomite 40 degree synthetic bag. I would feel comfortable using this bag anywhere between 45 and 65 degrees and I imagine that the average camper would also be comfortable within these temperature ranges. If you're going to sleep with it in temperatures above 65 degrees, you're probably going to want to vent that zipper or consider using it just as a top quilt because you may sweat. I personally would feel comfortable pushing this bag all the way down to that 40 degree limit for which it has been rated and maybe a couple degrees lower. So maybe to about 38 or 37 degrees with the proper clothing, giving that you've got nice insulated socks, under layers, and a nice heavy toque on, I bet you'd be pretty comfortable in this bag, even a couple degrees below 40 degrees. I used it at 42 degrees and I had a 15 degree under quilt in my hammock and I was very toasty. So I'd be willing to push this sleeping bag a little further of course given that you have the appropriately rated either camp mat or under quilt to go along with it overall its performance has been nothing but spectacular and i really can't say enough good things about how well it insulates so if i had to rate the north face dolomite 40 degree synthetic bag on a five point scale i would give this sleeping bag a four out of five row rating and there's a couple of reasons for that number one it is a very warm bag its temperature rating is true to its performance so if you're looking for a bag to keep you warm in those lower 40 degree temperatures this bag definitely will perform the way that it claims it will where it loses a couple points for me is number one in not having that DWR applied to the nylon shelf. So that's just one extra step that you have to go through. And the stuff sack is just so humongous. It would have been nice if they would have taken a look at the stuff sack and thought, you know, maybe we should package this into something a little smaller. Normally when I have products, I'm usually complaining that the stuff sack is too small. This is the one instance where the stuff sack is actually too big. But overall, really solid bag. I'm really, really happy that I purchased it. And definitely, given the choice, would purchase this item again. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope that you really enjoyed the video and I hope that you'll learn something new. Now is the time, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. And while you're here, you may as well check out a few of my other videos. Until next time, folks, we'll see you on the trails.